Good evening, loved ones and potential enemies. My name is Mike, and I'm making this video not to promote any action in particular, merely to educate. That being said, I am an opinionated gay boy, and so you might get hints of my opinions here and there. You see, I figure that there are quite a few people out there who would much prefer to watch a cute boy make a video than read a lengthy article. So I decided first to boil down and then to put together the points that you should know about Tom Emmer, the Looney Tunes without the bunny ears character that Target and Best Buy support. That being said, pour yourself a cocktail. Mine's in a plastic glass because I tend to be a bit clumsy and break my real glasses. I only have three of the original eight that I begin with. If you care to know what I'm drinking tonight, I am having Platinum 7 Vodka. I live for this brand because it's affordable and it's distilled seven times, i.e. less of a hangover. Tonight I'm mixing my vodka with an equally affordable Kroger brand Diet Orange Soda although a sugar-free Red Bull would be equally acceptable. Sit back and enjoy. These are the points that you should know about Tom Emmer. Number one. Tom Emmer pushed for a constitutional amendment that would ban gay and lesbian marriage. Number two. Tom Emmer supported legislation that would bar gay and lesbian couples trying to have children from using a surrogate mother. Number three is going to be brought to you by your local lesbian, my beloved roommate and dearest friend, Amy. Amy here with number three. Number three, Emmer's campaign committee financially supported the religious ministry, You Can Run But You Cannot Hide which accuses gay people of molesting children and supports violence against the LGBT community. Emmer has also been pictured with the leaders of this organization, been a guest on their radio talk show, and visited the home of one of their ministers. Mikey? Thank you, local, local lesbian, for that important update. <clears throat> Number four. In 2005, Emmer orchestrated legislation that would have dismantled all funding, all funding to Minnesota's largest HIV and AIDS program. His reasoning? The organization's health-related material about sexual transmission of the disease was too graphic. Crude and animalistic were the words Mr. Emery used to describe this health-related material. Number five. He wants to chemically castrate all people accused of sex crimes. Number six, he wants to slash minimum wage. Number seven, he believes that waitresses and servers make too much money and wants their wages to be taken out of their tips. Number eight, Tom Emmer supports legislation that would allow pharmacists to refuse to fill medications. And number nine, he has suggested that criminal penalties for drunk driving be lowered. It's important to note that Emmer... Those are the facts, folks. If enough of you are interested, I might post a more editorial version of this later, which could be interesting. I would like to thank Kelly Raspberry from the Kid Craddock in the Morning Show for the Looney Tunes Without the Bunny Ears line. I would like to thank my roommate, Amy, for helping me with this video. Not only did she contribute to one of the scenes, she helped me direct, edit, and create the video. I would also like to thank my good friend Kristen Hackney Redman and William Biddle for their fact-finding assistance. Thanks. Have a good night. Namaste. Namaste.